Cap are all 32 NFL franchises. But by the end of the video, only one will remain. If you're new to imperialism, the rules are simple. I'll spin this wheel to determine which team will attack first, and I'll spin this arrow to determine what direction they attack in. The franchise that is victorious takes the land of the loser and can steal one of their players. Our very first NFL team to attack is the Chicago Bears. And they will be attacking to the north. That's the Pittsburgh Steelers. Justin Fields and the Bears are the aggressors. Steelers looking to defend their land. In the fourth quarter, Pittsburgh is looking to close this one out. One first down will do it. Jalen Warren makes the catch. Chicago's out of timeouts. And the Bears picked the wrong team to invade. Pittsburgh is in victory formation. I think the most shocking thing of all of this is Pittsburgh putting up 28 points. And the Steelers are gonna take the Bears' land. And in their conquest, the Steelers stole DJ Moore from the Chicago Bears. The Chicago Bears are out of contention. The next team to play is the Carolina Panthers. And the Panthers will be attacking to the Northeast, the Tennessee Titans. Carolina is headed to Nashville, and they picked a tough day to invade. Heavy rain in Nashville. The rain is giving everyone trouble. End of the third quarter, and Tennessee's got a small lead. Will Levis, whip sideline, completes. Third and eight, handoff to Derrick Henry, and he's got so much room. Huge mistake by Carolina's defense. And Tennessee might have just put this game away. A late touchdown from Carolina makes the game close, but they're out of timeouts. Titans have the ball, victory formation. This game is all over. The Titans defend their land, and Carolina is knocked out of contention. And the Titans are more than happy to add Brian Burns to their roster. And the next team to execute an attack is the New York Jets. The Jets are absolutely surrounded. They'll be attacking to the Northwest, the Philadelphia Eagles. Bold move by New York to attack the Philadelphia Eagles. Robert Sala's got his hands full. Can Tim Boyle really pull this off? This is not a drill, people. The Jets are up 10 to zero halfway through the second quarter. There's a lot of football left to be played, but I think Philadelphia is sweating a little bit. End of the second quarter, Philadelphia wants to put some points up. Jalen Hurts, ooh, AJ Brown just cooked over there. The Cinderella story was just that. It's just a story. In reality, Philadelphia got sick of that nonsense. 34 to 16, the Eagles defend their territory and not a single offensive franchise has conquered land. It has always been the defenders. The Eagles steal Sauce Gardner. Philadelphia with Sauce Gardner, Darius Slay, Kevin Byer. Next team to battle is the New Orleans Saints, and they'll be attacking to the south, the Seattle Seahawks. Geno Smith versus Derek Carr. Alvin Kamara versus Kenneth Walker. Olave, Jackson Smith, and Jigba. Down by 12, second and 17, Derek Carr is yapping his way to the end of the quarter. What is this? Yeah, that's electronic arts for you. With seven seconds left down 12, Derek Carr is giving a, is giving a speech in the huddle. You're losing, buddy. Geno Smith is victorious. Seattle is taking New Orleans land and stealing a player. Seattle added some pass rush by poaching Cameron Jordan from the New Orleans Saints. Will an aggressor win a game? Who will be first? The Baltimore Ravens are on the hot seat and they'll be attacking to the north. The Houston Texans. Baltimore has a tough roster, but this is a very difficult first matchup. Houston is an excellent team too. I could see either of these teams taking over a big portion of their map. Opening drive, Baltimore is looking to score. Third and one, Lamar over the middle, caught. Baltimore's on the one. From the one, the Ravens are such a good team here. They have so many run plays, so many options, and Lamar's gonna throw it. Touchdown, Rashad Bateman. Let's see Paul Allen's touchdown. The Texans aren't going anywhere. A touchdown, an interception, and another deep touchdown. It's 14 to seven. Baltimore looking to tie this up before half. 37 seconds, Lamar, another end zone shot caught. Rashad Bateman, have a day. We asked for a slug out, we got one, 21 to 20. Ravens have got the ball late in the fourth quarter. Two minute warnings coming up. A field goal wins it and they are in range. Houston's gotta find a way to get this ball back. If Baltimore chews the whole clock and kicks a game-winning field goal, 
Derek Stingley almost just had his second interception of the day. I don't know why Lamar is throwing the ball right there. Lamar drops back. A lot of pressure. Justin Tucker hits the field goal. Texans on their next drive are sitting at fourth and 11. CJ Stroud drops back. Unloads. Caught. Dalton Schultz. First and 10. Houston's already in field goal range, but they want to make this a little bit nicer. CJ Stroud, clean pocket, delivers an easy ball. Madden Sim is something else. Rather than chewing the clock and kicking a field goal, Damian Pierce just ran the ball into the end zone. Final play of the game. Lamar chucks it up. That didn't even have a chance. And Houston, 28 to 23. Houston defends their land in a pretty big upset. Baltimore was definitely a favorite going into this. The Houston Texans will happily poach one of the best middle linebackers in football, Roquan Smith. Tensions are boiling on the island. Carolina and Houston have big chunks of the west side. The Eagles have sought out a bit in the middle. The Steelers are dominating the south. And Seattle holds the southeast coast. Our next challenger is the Houston Texans again. The Texans have an opportunity to command a massive portion of this map. The Texans will be moving northwest to take on the Miami Dolphins. This is the biggest battle yet. Houston's going to be taking on a very tough Miami team, but they have the help of their new best player, Roquan Smith. The battle for the biggest chunk of land is so close. 13 to 14, Miami with the ball and a big catch, Braxton Berrios. Second and two, almost intercepted, but Jalen Waddle hangs on. Tua over the middle, caught. First and 10, Miami's in a similar situation to last game. Just get the ball in range, kick the field goal, and win it, right? Braxton Berrios in motion, handoff to Devon Achan. Second and 10, handoff up the middle. Third and four, this is a massive play. If Miami gets the first down, they win the ball game. It's a handoff, Mostert, he's got it, and more. No, that was Devon Achan. Clutch handoff, clutch pickup. Miami's gonna win this one with a game winner. 14-13 for some reason. Dude, I guess I don't know ball. I guess I don't know ball because what I would do right there with a minute 18 down by one is I would kneel that shit twice and I'd kick a 30-yard field goal. I guess Madden has other ideas. Let's see what Devon A. Chan does. I knew it would be a handoff to him. He's too good. 21 to 14. It's a clutch two-point conversion. I actually hate Madden Sim. There's no time left on the clock. Houston has the ball and we're sitting here in a fucking cutscene while the clock is ticking. How are they kicking off? How is Houston kicking off? Why is Houston kicking off? Hey, EA, if anyone from Electronic Arts see this, could you just take 35 seconds, okay? Just take 35 seconds and go fuck yourself. God, this product is so dog shit. This may go against the rules of imperialism, but the Houston Texans were robbed of an opportunity to tie that game. We're running this one back. Oh, <laughs> we're in the exact same scenario. Oh, this is awesome. All right, if the Texans win it, we'll take it to a best of three. If the Dolphins win it, ball don't lie. First and 10, Texans are in no huddle. CJ Stroud over the middle. They do have their timeouts right now, so definitely could use those. Second and three, Texans hanging on to their timeouts. That pass is caught, but they did not get a lot of yards there. There's the first timeout. Stroud elects to scramble. Bad decision. Get rid of that ball and stop the clock. And 12, CJ Stroud just keeps throwing checkdowns with no time on the clock. He does not want to win this game. 17 seconds went off the clock before they snapped this ball. They've got a timeout left. Stroud's going to hook an end zone. And it goes nowhere. Fourth and seven. CJ Stroud slant over the middle's caught. Timeout with six seconds left. Stroud drops back, unloads end zone. Oh my God, that's caught. Oh my God, it's caught. They're going for two. And the Texans are going for two. They're going to try and win it right here. Pitch. Bottled up. Oh my God. I can't believe it. The balls, the balls to go for two there. They didn't want to test their chances in OT. I respect that, but Miami's won twice now, which is more than most teams are afforded. Miami absolutely is taking that land. Miami officially owns a majority of the map and they can poach one player from that Texans roster. Texans' best player is Roquan that they stole from the Ravens, and Roquan is now headed to Miami. This Dolphins roster is looking dangerous. The next team to battle is the Los Angeles Rams. 
And they'll be attacking to the Southeast, where they're taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes will make his debut in Arrowhead. Kansas City was a massive favorite in this game, and that was reflected in the score. 38-10, to 10, the Rams got dominated. Kansas City takes the Rams' land with ease and is stealing one of the best players in football. Aaron Donald. The next team to play is my Detroit Lions. Come on, baby. And the first team they'll take on is to the south. They'll be attempting to take over the Seattle Seahawks land who already have Cameron Jordan from their last battle. Lions at Seahawks. The Lions have an eight point lead in the fourth quarter, but Seattle has the ball at the 50. A touchdown and a two point conversion is needed if the Seahawks want to go into at least overtime. Both teams have all their timeouts. One stop here from Detroit, and they'll stay alive. A halfback draw to Kenneth Walker. Fourth and three. This could be the ball game. Seattle looks like they're running. I'd be shocked. Hand off Walker right side. It pays off. Kenneth Walker. After a sack, Geno's at third and 13. Clock is ticking. No timeouts being used. He hugs Steve. Broken up. I'm obviously a little biased, I'm sorry, but I do want to see my Lions advance. Will Seattle keep this alive? Gino, that's an end zone shot! Cameron Sutton breaks it up from DK! Cameron Sutton was the MVP of that game. And the Lions take the Seahawks' massive chunk of coastal land. The Detroit Lions will be adding to the wide receiver room and poaching DK Metcalf. Our next competitor is going to be the Bengals or the Vikings. Where does this land? Minnesota. Minnesota is going to take on the Eagles. Things are going about how you might imagine. Vikings are looking to get a poverty touchdown here, but I'm sorry, Josh Dobbs. I'm sorry that you had to face this team. 35 to 6, Minnesota is gone, and the Eagles are taking over more territory. Justin Jefferson is now a Philadelphia Eagle. AJ Brown, Devonta Smith. Justin Jefferson, Jalen Hurts, Dallas Goddard. Wow. Things are heating up on the map right now. The next team to play is going to be the Titans once again. But the Titans only have one option. They share a giant land border with the Miami Dolphins. This game is going to determine a massive chunk of the west side of the island. Tennessee did add Brian Burns from their conquest of Carolina, but I don't know if that's enough to beat the Miami Dolphins who added Roquan Smith. Miami scores, Tennessee scores back. Miami scores again and again and again and again. Oh my God, Tennessee just got waxed this miami team is horrifying tua with 330 yards and five passing touchdowns miami absorbs tennessee's land and has by far the biggest chunk of the map now miami steals derrick henry as if this team needed more firepower tyree killed jalen ramsey roquan smith derrick henry in the west side of the map is all miami but there's still a big battle in the Northeast and the North. And it looks like the Lions are given an opportunity to absorb more land or choke it all the way. They do share a scary border with the Philadelphia Eagles. Let's see who they play. The Lions will attack to the Northeast, the Atlanta Falcons. Lions have the help of DK Metcalf. 80 overall versus 80 overall. Falcons put up the first points of the game. It's seven to zero. Lions with an opportunity to score in the third quarter. Let's check in. Jared Goff's gonna fake the handoff to Montgomery. Throw to Laporta. I'm kidding, that's not Laporte. I think that's James Mitchell. First and goal to tie the game up. Five wide for Goff, laser beam. Donovan Peoples-Jones is in the end zone. Falcons respond with a field goal. They're marching down with a touchdown. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, the Detroit Lions lose their chunk of land to the Atlanta Falcons, 17-7. to The Falcons are poaching the Lions' highest overall player, Panay Sewell, to build the offensive line as well as a massive piece of land. That was a big swing. The Northeast still untouched. Will that change now? No, because the Bills are on the clock, bordering Cincinnati, Green Bay, Washington, and Cleveland. Who is Buffalo gonna take on? The Cleveland Browns. This game has some massive implications. The Browns would love to steal Josh Allen, 
And the Bills would love Nick Chubb or Miles Garrett. Bills start with seven. Browns respond with a field goal. Bills score another. Browns respond with another field goal. Bills another touchdown. And it's getting out of reach for Cleveland. 35 to 6. Game ends 42 to 13. Buffalo absorbs Cleveland on the map and has a difficult choice on the poach. Do you take the 99 overall running back or the 99 overall D end? As great as Nick Chubb is, it's impossible to pass up on Miles Garrett. The Bills might be a sleeper team on this imperialism map. Miles Garrett, Stefan Diggs, Josh Allen, Tredavious White, Micah Hyde, Von Miller. It's anybody's game at this point. I couldn't even tell you who the favorite is. Next up, though, is the Raiders. Bordered on the right by the Falcons' massive chunk, the Eagles to the north, and the Pittsburgh Steelers to the west. The Raiders are going to have a tough battle no matter what. The Las Vegas Raiders will be taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers were the first team to conquer another team in our imperialism map by defeating the Chicago Bears. They stole DJ Moore, and if they beat the Raiders here, they'll have an option between Max Crosby, Devontae Adams, Josh Jacobs... A ton of incredible players. Both of these teams do not have great quarterbacks, though. So whoever makes it out of this, if they can beat a team with a really good quarterback and steal them, I think Las Vegas or Pittsburgh could be an insane squad. The Raiders head to Pittsburgh, looking to dominate that big chunk of land on the south side of the map. Las Vegas starts out with a field goal. Las Vegas with a touchdown. Pittsburgh offense is crumbling. Where's Matt Canada when you need him? 17 to 0. Will Pittsburgh put up nothing? 20 to 0. Kenny Pickett's looking to finally put something up. A halfback slip screen here. Najee Harris will take it for six. Another slip screen. They love that play call. This one goes for good yards. I do want to see a Steelers touchdown, though, even if it doesn't mean anything. Quick check down to Jalen Warren, who breaks the first tackle. Kenny Pickett, rocket, caught! Is that Allen Robinson? Allen Robinson got a touchdown. They got in the end zone, right? Las Vegas takes down Mike Tomlin and the Steelers. But now the Raiders are surrounded by good teams. Falcons on the right, Eagles to the north, Chiefs to the west. But the Giants still have a big spot in the middle, although that won't get them the quarterback they need either. The Raiders are going to double down on their pass rush and add TJ Watt alongside Max Crosby. I would not want to be an enemy team's quarterback. The next team headed into battle is the Cincinnati Bengals. The Cincinnati Bengals will be taking on the Buffalo Bills. Ooh. The Bills will have the assistance of Miles Garrett. And this should be a really good matchup. So they just might need it. The Bengals are stepping into Bill's territory and just their luck. It's snowing in Buffalo. The snow, no Joe Burrow, Miles Garrett. It was all too much for Cincinnati. Buffalo's gonna take this game, take their land, and take a player from the roster. Jamar Chase is now a Buffalo Bill. The New England Patriots are up next, and we're finally gonna see some movement in the Northeast. The Patriots will be taking on the San Francisco 49ers if they pull this off. Oh boy. This score is a lot closer than I expected, but still the victor is no big shocker here as McCaffrey takes a huge chunk. Patriots use their last time out. Victory formation for the San Francisco 49ers, who are definitely another favorite on this map. But unfortunately for the 49ers, the Patriots roster is probably the worst overall roster in football. I don't know who they're gonna poach. The 49ers will steal a much needed right tackle upgrade, but yeah, this Patriots roster sucks. Taking a look at our map now, Miami and Buffalo have massive chunks. Raiders, Chiefs, and Falcons are all across the south side. Eagles in the middle right next to San Fran. Denver is fighting for breathing room. And the dead center of the island is virtually untouched with New York, Arizona, Tampa Bay, and Jacksonville all hanging on. The next team to play is the Bills once again. Will they continue their reign? The Bills will be taking on... The Chargers, another big game here. The Chargers have home field advantage and an overall advantage, but the Bills now have Miles Garrett and Jamar Chase. If the Chargers can squeak out this win, it would be a massive flip. It's all tied up 21 to 21, and the Chargers are punting away to the Bills, who are basically gonna start this in field goal range. 26 to 16, 
but the Chargers are about to score and have three timeouts. So if they can score here, oh, good pass. If they can score here, Buffalo still has to get a first down. Herbert, ooh, he had a touchdown two ways because he could have walked that in. Touchdown goes to Jalen Guyton. The Chargers are going to make this game 23-26, and they have three timeouts. So this game is not over. Chargers are going onside kick. Chargers are going onside kick. Oh, it's recovered. I'm shocked. They did not have to onside that. They do get the first down there, though. So, yeah, if they did that same thing with any amount of time on the clock, they win the game. The Bills take the Chargers land and steal Derwin James. Bills roster is Miles Garrett, Diggs, Derwin James, Jamar Chase, Josh Allen. Scary team. Who is next on the imperialism map? It might be Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs. We haven't seen from them in a while. And the Chiefs will be taking on... The Raiders. I don't know if the Raiders have a great chance here, but if they could win and steal Patrick Mahomes, that Raiders team might just be unstoppable. But this certainly goes both ways. If Kansas City wins, they could put TJ Watt on their roster, have Aaron Donald, TJ Watt, Chris Jones. Oh my goodness. Las Vegas is out to a 21 to seven lead. Full momentum and could potentially take down the Chiefs. Mahomes, clean pocket. Scary pass. Second and 10. Pacheco up the middle. Hammered. Third and two. Mahomes. Kelsey. Who else? Third and nine. Mahomes. Caught. Inbounds. 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 Andy Reid's bitching and the game's now over. But eight and Ocado. And the Raiders are taking over a massive chunk of the map. They poached all of the Chiefs land and they get to poach a Chiefs player. And it's obvious who they're taking. Patrick Mahomes was just outplayed by Aiden O'Connell. This is real life. The Raiders are now the map favorite. They steal Patrick Mahomes from the Chiefs. They've got Max Crosby, TJ Watt from the Steelers, Devontae Adams, Josh Jacobs, and a massive chunk of the map. I really can't believe I'm saying it, but the Raiders might win. All right, the next team to battle in NFL imperialism is actually going to be the Raiders. Oh, wow. Is this the start of a dynasty? The Raiders are going back to back here. There's honestly a lot of options for them to attack because their portion of this map is so bizarre. But I'm going to call this the New York Giants since they're basically surrounded by the Giants. Despite having Patrick Mahomes and TJ Watt, the Raiders are still a 76 overall. This is one of the weirdest teams I've ever seen. We got a light snow at MetLife Stadium. Tommy DeVito's taking on Patrick Mahomes. Oh my goodness. For everything that is right about football, do not let the Giants win this. 14-3 Las Vegas, 17-3 Las Vegas, 24-3 Las Vegas. Raiders are just milking this clock. Second and seven, it's 34-10 in the snow. I think there'll be one more handoff, Josh Jacobs. Stuffed by, you know what's funny about that? That's the man right there that the Raiders are gonna steal. Dexter Lawrence is so good. 34-10, Raiders easy dub, yikes. Dexter Lawrence is a 95 overall. And for once, the Raiders will be fleecing someone else. The Giants are out of contention, and the Raiders now have Dexter Lawrence in addition to TJ Watt and Patrick Mahomes. And they're still only like a 77 overall because the rest of this team is dog water. I have no idea what's going to happen with this team. Raiders hang on. Giants are gone. Next team to battle. Dude, I feel like the Bills have just been fighting. The Bills will be fighting again here. There's a lot of potential candidates. They share a border with the Eagles, the Buccaneers, the Cardinals, the Packers, the Dolphins, and the Commanders. It's gonna be a little ambiguous as to where they'd be attacking here. Southeast, they'll be attacking the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Bills have some really good poached players as well. They got Miles Garrett, they got Diggs, they got Derwin, they got Jamar Chase, they got Josh Allen. This is why it's tough to be a passive franchise because yes, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have made it this far, but they haven't poached any players or done anything yet. So the Bills have a really big advantage going into this game. Clear skies in Tampa Bay as the Bills look to expand their dynasty. Buccaneers with the potential to flip this entire map. Bills start with a touchdown, but Tampa Bay responds. Bills another touchdown, a field goal. Scoring is slowing in the third quarter. Nobody's making any moves, 20 to seven. 26 to 7. Buffalo has this one locked up. First and goal. Miles Garrett's coming off the edge, but Baker lasers. Touchdown. 
Trey Palmer. A nice touchdown, but the Bills still come out on top. They'll be stealing Tristan Wirfs from the Buccaneers, a huge offensive line upgrade. Bills take over the Buccaneers land. Who is going to be next? The northeast of the map is still virtually untouched. But this battle here is going to be the Washington Commanders. I should probably change the name of that wheel spin, huh? The Commanders are bordered by some monster teams. They'll be attacking to the Northwest. They just barely dodged the Bills, but they still have to take on Miami. The Dolphins have Tyreek Hill, Jalen Ramsey, Roquan Smith, Derrick Henry, and of course, Tua Tungavailoa. The Commanders still with their base roster. This is David versus Goliath here. Miami looking to expand the empire. And Washington's looking for a miracle here. Commanders are on the board first. Miami responds with a touchdown. And another. And another. Washington's not done yet. 21 to... They might be done. Fucking waxed. No way Miami just scored again. 45 to 13, and on fourth and inches, the Dolphins are running a fucking fake, and he dropped it! You gotta love that display of sportsmanship. You are shitting on them by 32 points. You run fake punt, and you drop it, though. Jonathan Allen is gonna look good in the Miami colors. Miami knocks out Washington, and we head on to the next battle. After this battle, we'll get a review of the map, but first... We got to see who the Jacksonville Jaguars are taking on. The Jags are one of my favorite teams, but no matter who they play, they're going to have a stacked roster right now. Unless they somehow get the Cardinals. They couldn't be that lucky. The Jaguars are taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles have Justin Jefferson, A.J. Brown, Sauce Gardner, Jalen Hurts, Hassan Rett. They have such a monster lineup. But I've seen the Jaguars pull some crazy stuff off. Travis Etienne, Josh Allen, Foyusada Luakon. An uphill battle for the Jaguars. But listen, they got an 85 overall. Eagles are 86. There's a little talent disparity, but overall-wise, it's definitely possible. 35 to 24. Jacksonville's got the lead. But the Eagles are about to be in the red zone. This game is really close. But it's looking like the Jaguars might actually do this. Dude, if it's a Jacksonville Jaguars versus Las Vegas Raiders for the chip, I don't even know what I will say. Second and 10. Hurts underneath to D. Swift got lit up. They get the snap off. One second to do so. He does get the snap off. Laser beam. Touchdown. Justin Jefferson. Gritty. Gritty. Oh, he did. He did it. Eagles are going for two here. Trying to make it. A field goal game with a minute 57 laser beam. Middle, Devonta Smith. Oh my God, this game is still a game. Final play of the game. The Jaguars didn't even have to snap it and they choose to snap it. And the Eagles are going to fucking fair catch it. There's no time on the clock. Oh my God. I don't even know what to say, but the, the Jaguars just beat the Eagles. 35 to 32. The Jaguars beat the Eagles. Off of a Trevor Lawrence masterclass, 340 yards and four touchdowns. Close game. The Jaguars are taking the Eagles chunk and they get to poach a player. Gosh, there's so many good players on that roster, but I think it has to be Justin Jefferson. The Philadelphia Eagles are out of contention and the Jaguars steal Justin Jefferson. Let's take a look at the map. The Jaguars just got themselves a big chunk. The Northeast is untouched. Falcons own a nice chunk in the southeast. The Raiders have almost the entirety of the south. The west is all Miami, and the north is all Buffalo. Green Bay and Arizona are hanging on by a thread. So is Indianapolis. But it remains to be seen who's going to squeak it out of the northeast. There are two powerhouse teams over there with the San Francisco 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys. The next team to head into battle is going to be the new look Jacksonville Jaguars. They just took out the Eagles and stole Justin Jefferson, who is now by far their best player. And they will be taking on to the West. The Cardinals thought they were safe. They are not. The Arizona Cardinals have literally the worst overall in the game. So if they pull this off, I wouldn't even know what to say. 14 to 10 at half. 21 to 16 at half. 28 to 16. It is third and goal in the fourth quarter. Arizona is beating Jacksonville. Jacksonville's got to punch this in. Drop back. Laser. Was that Justin Jefferson? Oh my God, it was, dude. <laughs> he granted his second. Just last battle, had a touchdown for the Philadelphia Eagles. Now he's got one for the Jaguars. 
And if the Jaguars can't pull this off, he'll have one for the Cardinals too. Cardinals got a first down, victory formation. <laughs> they, just beat they are unironically actually the worst team in this game. There is no team that's even close to 76 overall. That is so bad. Trevor Lawrence threw an interception. Kyler Murray threw for two touchdowns. 17 attempts, 151 yards on the ground, two touchdowns. That's how you win a football game. Holy shit. Justin Jefferson is earning his frequent flyer miles. He's headed to Arizona. But I cannot stress how bad this lineup is. The best player is now Justin Jefferson. Then it's Buda Baker at 90. And then it's Hollywood Brown at 82. His team is so tra- How did they win? The map is closing. We're nearing the end. And the Buffalo Bills will be attacking next. Bills will be attacking to the southeast. That's the Arizona Cardinals. The Bills will be taking on the Justin Jefferson Cardinals. Cardinals get home field advantage. It's 13 to seven at halftime, 21 to seven, 21, 14. 21 to 14, Bills could make it a two possession lead if Tyler Bass drills this. He does. I gotta say this Cardinals team, is like shockingly good. I thought this was gonna be a blowout, but I guess I thought the Jaguars game was gonna be too. Kyler still has a chance. Three timeouts, two minutes, 14 seconds. Second and six, Cardinals are in the red zone. They're gonna need probably an onside kick. Kyler's gonna, oh, Kyler. Now it's third and 11. You lose the down, you lose five yards. Let's see what they do on third and 11. Kyler's gotta go deep. He does have Justin Jefferson though. Is that enough? No, he's gonna get sacked inbounds. Kyler's going end zone, dropped. How you don't go to Justin Jefferson there is beyond me. He goes to Michael Wilson. That's a turnover. And Josh Allen and the Bills are going to win another game. They're going to steal. They're going to steal Justin Jefferson again. And with that win, there is a new territory leader. The Bills just took a massive chunk off the map. The Bills steal Justin Jefferson and officially have the most unfair wide receiver room in football. Justin Jefferson... Stefan Diggs, Jamar Chase, Gabriel Davis. Yikes, this team is insane. My money's on Buffalo right now, but the, the Cardinals beat the Jaguars, so whatever. There are not a lot of battles left, boys. It's gonna get real interesting here down the stretch. And this is gonna be the first battle for the Denver Broncos. We're finally gonna see some movement in the Northeast. The Denver Broncos will be attacking to the Southeast the Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons have only poached one player, and that was Panay Sewell from the Detroit Lions. So this might not be too difficult of a battle for the Broncos. It's all Denver in the first half. Oh my gosh, it's all Denver for the whole game. Falcons put up seven. Denver's milking, but wait a minute. Falcons are driving here. First and 10, 21 to seven. I think Denver's gonna come out with this, but the Falcons aren't giving up. Unloads to the end zone. <laughs> Scotty Miller. I didn't even know he was on Atlanta. Thought he was still at Tampa Bay. Young Wei Ku comes out and drills it. It's 21 to 14. Denver gets their first down, milks the clock, and puts this one away. Arthur Smith. Yeah, it was a nice touchdown there at the end, though. Denver's gonna claim the land in the southeast and steal one player from the Falcons. Denver's gonna steal Jesse Bates. And the Broncos now have a no-fly zone. PS2, Jesse Bates, Justin Simmons. Oh, and the next team to battle is the Green Bay Packers. To the north is Buffalo, to the south is Las Vegas, and to the west is Miami. I'm sorry, Green Bay. You'll be taking on the Buffalo Bills. Green Bay... <laughs> Green Bay is headed into the lion's den. That is a horrifying team. 13 to zero, 13 to three, 27, 34. Oh my God, 41 onslaught. No need to click into this one, boys. The Bills just dominated Green Bay. Who do you even shake hands with, man? There's Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, Stephon Diggs, Josh Allen, Miles Garrett. Let's see how this wide receiver core did. Justin Jefferson had 130 and a touchdown. There's too many people on this team. Jamar Chase had two for 40 and a touchdown. Diggs had three for 32. Jair Alexander is an absolute stud. And the Bills are so stacked on offense that this is definitely the right choice. Jair Alexander is a Buffalo Bill. Just adding to this already unbelievably overpowered lineup. 
Tredavious White, Jair Alexander. If Buffalo doesn't win this, they are frauds, bro. Buffalo continues their reign. The next team to play is going to be the Las Vegas Raiders, right? Las Vegas Raiders. If they attack to the north, they will take on Buffalo. If they attack to the east, it's Denver. If they attack to the west, it's the Indianapolis Colts. If this arrow goes north, oh, 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 oh. Las Vegas. Las Vegas will attack east, taking on the Denver Broncos and avoiding the Bills for now. This is a really interesting matchup. The Raiders are now an 83 overall. Broncos are 79. They've got Jesse Bates, but I think the Raiders should take this one home. Their team is so stacked. Broncos got home field advantage. Let's see if that's enough. Denver starts with a score. Raiders respond with a field goal. Denver's in the end zone. Raiders are in the end zone. We're back and forth right now. Denver scores. Vegas field goal. Vegas touchdown. We got to hop in and watch. Third and inches. Denver needs a field goal for OT or a touchdown to put them up. And on third and inches, they go with a pitch. Absolutely swallowed by Kunzi. Denver's punting. I can't believe this. You gotta go. The fake fair catch to let it roll through the end zone. Raiders are gonna take over. First and 10, handoff to Josh Jacobs. There is so much fucking room. Oh my goodness. Ooh, Josh Jacobs. This also means that if the Raiders win here, they can steal one of those monster defensive players from Denver, which would help out this roster a lot. And they're in the backfield, but Jacobs evades it. Another timeout, Denver. And we haven't even seen the San Francisco 49ers or the Dallas Cowboys, two insane teams. Hand off Josh Jacobs. He's gonna run through the first guy, second and four. I guess the Raiders are gonna hand this off just to be disrespectful. It is a, it is a divisional matchup, okay? Raiders, Broncos. Ooh, don't run that shit in, Josh Jacobs. Don't be, don't fumble it. Josh Jacobs, 25 rushes, 144 yards. This game is over. 20 to 17, the Raiders' miraculous run is still alive. They win. This was on the, dude, this was not on the backs of Patrick Mahomes. Russell Wilson played better than Mahomes. This was on the back of Josh Jacobs. 5.7 yards per carry on 25 hands offs is disgusting. Mahomes ran one in, and even Amir Abdullah had a touchdown. Taking a look at the map here, the Raiders now take over the Broncos portion of the map. A huge chunk belongs to Las Vegas. Another massive chunk belongs to Buffalo. Miami's still sitting pretty on the west side. And it's anybody's guess what San Fran, Dallas, and New England are going to do. Indianapolis Colts are still alive in the bottom left, but this map is significantly shrinking. PS2 is headed to Las Vegas. And the Raiders now have Patrick Mahomes, Max Crosby, TJ Watt, PS2, Dexter Lawrence, Devontae Adams, Josh Jacobs. There are only five teams remaining and the next team up is the raiders the las vegas raiders are up next the arrow lands to the east it's really to the southeast but we're gonna call that the dallas cowboys they've been hiding in that corner for too long dallas is about to get the biggest test of their lives the Raiders have poached so many amazing players. Despite that, the Cowboys still have a seven overall advantage on the Las Vegas Raiders. And if you've ever simmed a game in Madden 24, you'll know that the Dallas Cowboys are one of the most terrifying teams to play against. If the Raiders can pull this off, I don't think anybody can stop them. But if Dallas pulls this off against Mahomes, Max Crosby, TJ Watt, Dexter Lawrence, Patrick Sertan. I don't know, man. This might be one of the best games we see. Let's lock in here, gentlemen. We're getting exactly what we wanted, boys. It's 14 to 14 in the third quarter. Cowboys have the ball third and 16. A big conversion coming up. Unloads to the end zone, caught. Michael Gallup. First and goal, Dallas has got to punch this in. Hand off Tony Pollard. Breaks the tackle. Divine Diablo just got bodied. And he's playing the violin. Yo, and the O-line. O-line's playing the flute. Don't tell me Dallas is going to take this one, right? Second and four. Raiders have got themselves into red zone. Dallas has got strip ball aggressive on. Handoff. Oh, play action. That shit got me. Mahomes. Caught. End zone. 
Michael Mayer, the rookie, is going to tie this ball game up. But there is a lot of clock left. It's going to be 21 to 21, three timeouts apiece. If the Raiders beat both the Chiefs and Dallas, it would have been such a monumental victory. Now their handoff. How? How on the final play of the game do you let Tony Pollard run for 15 yards? Tony Pollard just ran that ball in the end zone. There's 42 seconds left. The Raiders could score. First and 10. The Raiders have got to cross the Cowboys 50. They might have two or three plays left, but they got to go end zone. Mahomes is going to step up and throw end zone. Oh, you got to get out of bounds fast or you just got to go all the way. You got to go yard. Mahomes in a clean pocket. Stepping up. Throwing. At least give him a chance, Mahomes. Third and 10. Unloads. And the Hail Mary doesn't go. And Dallas beats Las Vegas. Nothing against Dak Prescott, but Patrick Mahomes is the best player in football. The Cowboys will poach Patrick Mahomes. And Dallas has a new starting quarterback. Only five teams remain on the map. And the Indianapolis Colts. The Colts. Who are you taking on, Colts? It's either Miami or Dallas. Wow, Indianapolis has just... Been sitting there waiting to take on Miami as that arrow points west. Maybe the Colts could flip the map right now, too. 14 to 0. 21 to 0. 21 to 7. Upset alert. Oh my God, Indianapolis. They're running the score up. The Indianapolis Colts just hung 41 on Miami. And they're going to steal a player. How? Gardner Minshew Masterclass. He only, dude, 18 for 20, 90 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Jonathan Taylor, 20 attempts, 130 yards, two touchdowns. Oh my God, Indianapolis flips the map and the West Side goes to Indy. And with that, gentlemen, we are officially onto the final four. Who can confidently say that they predicted the final four would be San Francisco, Dallas, Indianapolis, and Buffalo. And the Colts steal 99 overall Tyree kill. Wanted to add a little speed to the roster. They're gonna need the help. I don't know if they can get the miracle twice. One of the biggest matchups yet, the first battle of the final four on the map will be the San Francisco 49ers. Buffalo to the west, Dallas to the south. San Francisco is taking on Dallas. Dude, Indianapolis is so bailed. How they are dodging these matchups, dude. The Cowboys now have Patrick Mahomes at quarterback and all the Niners were able to get was Jabril Peppers from the Patriots. Brock Purdy and the San Francisco 49ers will be taking on the Patrick Mahomes juiced Dallas Cowboys. First to score is San Fran with three. Put up another field goal, but Dallas has got a touchdown. San Fran's got a touchdown too. Another one makes it 23 to seven. Dallas puts one in. Dallas puts another in. It's 23 to 20. San Fran's got the ball. Dallas is going to need to stop if they want a chance. Third and eight, boys. Brock Purdy, huge conversion. Heat. Way too much heat. Micah Parsons off one edge. Demarcus Lawrence off the other. Oh my God, that pocket collapsed. Fourth and 17. Dallas is going to definitely have a chance here. This will be a punt. Clock is ticking. Dallas has one timeout. They've got 32 yards to go, but all they need is a field goal. All they need is a field goal. Mahomes steps up. Almost throws an interception. Don't throw at Fred Warner like that. Mahomes unloads. Caught CeeDee Lamb. Please call the timeout. Please call the timeout. What are you doing? There's 13 seconds left. McCarthy calls the timeout. Big field goal, but it's really hard to miss those. They always hit them. Brandon Aubrey. Clutch. Clutch field goal. Makes us 23 to 23. We're going into overtime. San Fran starts with the ball in OT, but punts it away to the Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys only need a field goal to win this. It's fourth and six. What are they going to do here? Are they going to punt it back? They're going to punt it back. Third and four. San Fran had the ball, punted it. Dallas had the ball and punted it, meaning a field goal for either team ends this ball game. There's a minute 40 left. What's San Fran going to do here? Third and four. Purdy converts. But they're not in field goal range yet. They have two timeouts. Oh, gosh. This Niners roster would be so... <gasps> George Kittle broke the first tackle. All they need is the field goal. They're already in range. Come on, baby. Even Mahomes couldn't win the Dallas Cowboys. A massive game if Jake Moody hits it. And he does. The San Francisco 49ers take down the Cowboys. 
conquer a gigantic chunk of the map. And all that's left is Buffalo and Indianapolis. There are so many insane players on this Cowboys roster that the Niners could steal, but I can't take Patrick Mahomes. I think Brock Purdy should be a 49er. We're gonna steal Micah Parsons. Obviously the 49ers already have Nick Bosa as well as Chase Young, but I have a good feeling the Niners will find some use for Micah Parsons. Three teams remain on the map and the next one to battle. <laughs> is the Indianapolis Colts. I shouldn't laugh because they just beat Miami, so they could beat whoever they take on here. If the arrow is more north, we're going Buffalo. If it's more south, which it is, we're taking on the San Francisco 49ers. <laughs> Whatever team makes it out of here is gonna have to take on the Buffalo Bills God Squad. The Indianapolis Colts are headed into Niners territory to take on Micah Parsons, Nick Bosa, and McCaffrey. They've got Tyree Kill in a dream. Let's see it, Indy. Three minutes left in the fourth quarter, and gentlemen. Indianapolis has a shot, a very serious shot. They're winning by seven. Niners are looking to punch this in. That ball goes nowhere. Second and goal. They got a score here first. Brock Purdy checks down to McCaffrey. Third and goal. Third and goal. Brock Purdy steps up and dives into the end zone. Oh my God, Brock Purdy. I thought they might not even get in. It's gonna be 27 to 27 if they can make this PAT. Brock Purdy, massive play. Jake Moody. Pins the PAT 27 to 27. Can Indy score here? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Tyreek Hill almost just housed that kick. Almost. Anthony Richardson's back there with Jonathan Taylor. He's got Tyreek Hill at wide receiver and he connects to Michael Pittman. There's just no way, right? Indy's not going to do this, right? Whoa. Tyreek Hill snags it. How? What is happening? What is going on? Dude, look at this. How's this not picked off or deflected? Oh, Tyreek. It's going to be all Jonathan Taylor. Cuts it back. He's going to almost get 10. San Fran has to use a timeout. I think Indy's going to walk away with this. Oh my God. Quentin Nelson pull blocking. It is over. Indianapolis with three seconds left is going to kick the field goal in the snow. Do they drill it? Yes. Oh my God. They beat the stacked Miami roster and stole Tyree Kill. Now they beat a stacked Niners roster. Anthony Richardson with an absolute masterclass. Brock Purdy with two interceptions. Maybe the Niners should have stole Patrick Mahomes. Jonathan Taylor with a really good game. Tyree Kill, nine for 130, a touchdown. And Tyree Kill had that massive kick return. And since it was the second to last battle, I'm going to be generous. I'm going to let the Indianapolis Colts steal two players from the 49ers roster. That'll be Micah Parsons and Fred Warner. Massive defensive upgrades going into the final battle. <laughs> I cannot believe that this is real. I can't believe I'm saying this, boys. But the final battle is the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Dallas Cowboys for every single piece of Imperialism Island. Indianapolis is a late sleeper squad, but they were able to poach Tyree Kill, Micah Parsons, and Fred Warner. They still have the base Colts roster and their starting quarterback is Anthony Richardson. But they've got quite the uphill battle because the Buffalo Bills not only beat a lot of good teams, but that also meant they poached some insane players. They've got Justin Jefferson, Miles Garrett, Stephon Diggs, Derwin James, Jamar Chase, Josh Allen, Jair Alexander, Tristan Wirfs, Tredavious White, Micah Hyde, Von Miller. They have a clear roster advantage, but if I've learned anything from the Indianapolis Colts, it's that a roster advantage doesn't mean anything. This team has defied all odds and beaten some of the biggest dynasties, and there's only one battle left. The Bills have more head-to-head -head wins, so we're giving them home field advantage. This is gonna be one hell of a battle, boys. It all comes down to this. The Imperialism Super Bowl. Tyree Kill, Anthony Richardson, Jonathan Taylor taking on Justin Jefferson, Josh Allen, and the rest of these absurd squads. Pick your winners right now, boys. Buffalo, the fan favorite, the Vegas favorite, but Indianapolis 
with two straight massive upsets. Can they do it one more time? Anthony Richardson giving his pump up speech. Josh Allen the same. Buffalo to receive the ball. What's their first drive gonna look like? A 31 yard touchdown to Justin Jefferson. Bills are on the board. Indianapolis punts it away. Bills will have the ball back. Fourth and 10 on Buffalo. They give the ball back to Indy. Another punt. A lot of defense so far. Buffalo looking to add to this lead in the biggest game. Rifle in. And he's in the end zone. Who is that? There's so many good wide receivers. It's Justin Jefferson. I have watched this man gritty on four different teams. Justin Jefferson backpedaling through the laws of gravity and physics. Oh my goodness. Ugh, nasty move. He's in. Buffalo's got a big lead right now. End of the second quarter. The Colts are not going to go down without a fight. Dude, they didn't come all the way here to get blown out. Anthony Richardson looking at the field. Yikes. Unloads deep. <gasps> Caught by Tyreek. Tyreek, where are you toe tapping? You were five yards out of bounds. Anthony Richardson unloads all the way. Matt Gay is going to come out here and give the Colts three. Let's get Gay in here, boys. Drills the field goal, 3-14. to 14. Colts start with ball after half. They've gotten themselves in the red zone for the first time today. First and 10, what do they do with it? Ooh, quick pass. Mo Alley Cox, and he's got it. Hand off to Jonathan Taylor. That's been the bread and butter of this team, but yikes. Bills are stuffing. What's the Colts short yardage play here? Probably the biggest play of the game so far. It's another hand. Oh, it's a read option. Oh my God, and it's money. Yo, I am spectating and that literally caught me off guard. Damn, what a play. Anthony Richardson is in the end zone. Whoa. Hey, that was an excellent touchdown by the Colts, but it doesn't mean anything if they can't stop the Bills. It's second and 11. Bills are chewing some clock off here. And I also just realized the Colts went for two and they got it. Josh Allen stiff arming his way, but that's third and eight. Wait a minute. So a Bills field goal here only takes them up by six. Third and eight. This is the biggest conversion of the game. You got the most stacked wide receivers in the world running routes. And there's one of them, but he drops it. Diggs with a drop. It's fourth and eight. Is this a field goal? 49-yard field goal by Tyler Bass is good. It's 11 to 17. Anthony Richardson, 21-yard pass to Tyreek Hill to keep the drive alive. Hand off Jonathan Taylor, who's going to gash. Look at all the superstars on that Bills defense. He gashes for about 30. First and 10. Dude, if the, if the Colts score here, get the PAT, they might actually beat the Bills. There's just no way. Ooh, there's that monster pass rush. Von Miller off one edge, Miles Garrett off the other. I'm talking like the Colts are going to win. They got to score. Miles Garrett's got his X factor too. I'd be really scared of him coming off that edge. Anthony Richardson's got to get rid of this ball fast. Miles Garrett, huge club move. Anthony Richardson's forced to check down and get no yards. Dude, he literally just slapped the shit out of that left tackle. Clean pocket. Checks down. There's some room. Okay, that's manageable. I respect that play call. 10 yards there. You know you're going for it. Fourth and 10. Biggest play of the game. Anthony Richardson. Clean pocket. Unloads. Punt! Tyreek Hill caught it! No wonder they've been winning these games. They're on God mode. How did he catch this? This is blanketed. 32. What are you doing? Colts make the PAT. It's 18 to 17. It is Bill's ball. Do not let the Colts be the winner of my first ever imperialism video. I have poured eight hours of my life into this video. If the Indianapolis Colts... Mm, dude. Is that a screen? Oh my God, a slip screen. That might've been some of the worst running I've ever seen. Ran straight into the guy getting pancaked by your offensive lineman. The Bills don't want it. Let's just put it that. The Bills do not want this win. You got Jamar Chase. You got Justin Jefferson. You got Diggs. Yo, you got mine. You just don't want it bad enough. Everybody's running around. Rifles into Diggs. Caught. Josh Allen drops back. Unloads to James Cook, who drops it. Looks, fires. Where are you throwing that ball? What are you doing? Went to Gabe Davis. Oh my goodness. Third and 10. They're not in field goal range yet. Play action. Josh Allen steps up. He's going. Fourth and one. I don't think they're in range yet. Are they? Are they bringing out the unit? It's fourth and one. This is a 60 yard field goal. I don't know what they're going to do. Fourth and one. It might be a run up the middle. This looks like a run. Fourth and one. James Cook. Broke the tackle! DeForest Buckner was back there, but he broke it! James Cook 
Holy shit. I can't believe he broke that. First and 10 for Buffalo. James Cook is going to get a really good run here. Second and four. Third and two. There's a handoff. James Cook. It's fourth and inches, but all they need is the field goal. Seven seconds left. Tyler Bass. Snap. Hold. Kick. Absolutely drills it. But for some reason, McDermott's calling a timeout with seven seconds left. So this game is not over. I've seen Tyreek Hill do some nasty kick returns before. I've seen him do it before. Does Tyreek Hill have one left in him? Three, two, one. He's tackled with one second on the clock. That was the longest second of all time. Anthony Richardson's got a Hail Mary. Dude, I know he's got a cannon for an arm. Can he hook that bitch 70? Oh, it doesn't matter because Miles Garrett's going to call game. Ball game, Miles Garrett. Sacks Anthony Richardson and the Buffalo Bills win the first ever imperialism. And honestly, I think they earned it. They beat so many good teams and stacked up on so much talent. Miles Garrett from Cleveland, Derwin James from the Chargers, Justin Jefferson from the Vikings, Jamar Chase from the Bengals. Jair Alexander from the Packers, even though he got snagged on. Bring that trophy out, baby. Don't touch that, Jair. And there's Josh Allen holding the trophy. It's the Imperialism trophy, by the way. That's not the Lombardi. It's a totally different thing. Buffalo Bills. Look at Miles Garrett up there. Miles Garrett was insane that game. All right, boys. I hope you enjoyed my first ever Imperialism. If you have any tips on how I can make this better, I would love to do it because this was an absolute blast. And I want to run it back for the playoffs. So let me know what you guys think. I love you. Thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.